Welcome to Let's Rap. I am your host, Derek Carr. These are my lovely co-hosts. This is Lisa Crutcher Thurman, mm -hmm. Ebony Ingram Jones, mm -hmm. and we are here with you, number one, to just say hello. Hey. What's up? What's going on? Let's um, rap. Spring, it's good yeah. times. You know, it's feeling good. It feels good outside. We feeling good. So what I wanted to talk about today is something that you don't really hear in church a lot, Okay. but I did want to talk about it because, you know, our show is for everybody. So. I want to talk about our brand. Okay. Okay. Because I think as uh, African Americans, black people, we don't talk about it enough. We okay. think, hey, it is what it is. I am who I am, you know, <laughs> and it's kind of what you get. And it's, oh, come on. Yeah. Your brand is so important because it's, it's who you are. It okay. embodies who you are as a person, mm -hmm. what you do, how you move, how you, how you do things, you know, okay. it's, it's your, it's your MO, it's your mojo, mm -hmm. it's your, it's your feel, you know, and people say things based on your your brand, okay. you know, and it sells it. So one thing I wanted to po pose this question okay. before we start. So I was reading this book that my my best friend gave me, Rico King. I didn't give him his props. Oh yeah. Um, ways to shift your thinking. Two hundred ways to shift your thinking. And um, and the first thinking or a uh, thing that I uh, that came from the book was talking about your brand, and it said something like. If you were in a store, or if somebody saw your brand in the store, would they buy it, or would they move it and keep shopping? Mm, wow. And what it told me, I mean, in that point, I just clued me in. Okay, so, wow. So just the way I carry myself, mm -hmm. the way I talk, the way that I, you know, engage with other people, mm -hmm. the way I get a project, the way I finish it, what I do if I don't finish it, just, all that encompasses your brand, who you are, how you move, when you act when nobody's looking versus okay, when you act okay. when somebody is looking, you know. So I just said, I think we should talk about that tonight. Mm -hmm. So that's our topic tonight. We're going to talk about brands. So let's wrap. So what's up? Well, I was trying to put a word as a synonym to help me understand uh -huh. and get, and what I'm coming up with, like your character. Yes, absolutely. Is that what it is? Absolutely. Oh, good. Absolutely. I'm or absolutely. for me, what's in a name? Because yes. your name precedes you. Your name comes through. So in my mind, it is, what do people think about when they hear Derek Carr? Yes. Okay. Yes. Lisa Crutcher. Yes. Thurman. Uh -huh. Yes. Or if, is it the other way? No, Lisa it's Crutcher Thurman. Thurman. Yes. Lisa okay. Crutcher Thurman. Absolutely. Okay. What do they think? We automatically, we think of an educator. Okay. okay. We think of a survivor yes. from your brain yes. injury. Yes. We think of a, a comedian. Yes. Like all of those, I think, are okay. part of your brain. Yes. Okay. Yes. And Thank um, know. thankfully, I think your brand is pretty positive. And People it. typically have very good feel. They would totally yes. buy you. Absolutely. On the rack. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, That's exactly what a brand is. Mm -hmm. Now, earlier when we were talking about your name and how it's perceived and if someone misspells it or says it incorrectly, <laughs> how that makes you feel. Uh -huh. And I said something to you about yours because your name is not spelled the typical way that they spell Ebony. Correct. But it took me back when I was in college and the professor spelled my name. And this is where like she's sitting out there. I was never Lisa Thurman. And she always had me with lowercase L. No, mm. I'm not lowercase. I'm a capital L. Mm -hmm. Lisa has a capital L. Oh, yeah. And as an educator, that is, you know, I'm teaching Correct. handwriting. You, the first sentence, first letter of each sentence must have capital names in important place, that kind of thing. And so I just picked up on that from you. Mm -hmm. We say, yeah, that is your name. That's how it needs to be Correct. pronounced. That's how it should be spelled. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Because that's it. yours. And Correct. That's who you it's are. mine. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. that, and it, it, I, I really, I, I like that. And I think this topic was going to be good to spark conversation. And then it'll surpass what we look like on here because then we can take another level. So before I get ahead of myself, let me go with some of the points that I came <laughs> okay. up with. So one thing that you said is your legacy. And that's one of the points that I had. Live a leg leave a legacy. And live a legacy, both of them, mm -hmm. uh, because ultimately, you know, a lot of people talk about their funeral, who they want to speak, but your life should really speak exactly. for itself. You know, your works <clears throat> should not be in that casket. They're going right. to live past you. Mm -hmm. And so, like I talked uh, last week, yeah. and I talked about that's one of the things that I intentionally want to do mm -hmm. is leave a legacy, leave mm -hmm. a lasting something. You know, I want somebody to be like, you know, he said something to me that changed my life. Mm -hmm. or he gave me an opportunity that helped me, <clears throat> that moved me forward. I did something in a professional setting. Or spiritually, he prayed for me mm -hmm. and something happened, you know. Mm -hmm. It's just, 
your legacy is so important. Mm -hmm. Well, Pastor talked about that because we can, when you die, you don't stop there because something you had said Absolutely. has Correct. carried on Correct. and yes. it's spoken to someone else yes. and they carry it and send it to somebody else so it keeps going. Yes. So Pastor spoke about that. So you got to make sure that what you're doing and saying is positive yes. because you never know who's mm -hmm. picking up on it. They give me another one. Create a positive impact. Okay. Yeah. Because, okay, here's the thing. <laughs> Anybody who knows me knows that I'm a jokester. They know that I joke. I play with people. Too much. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> but it's never to hurt. Never. Never. It's to have fun. Mm -hmm. And if I know, and I generally don't do it unless I know the person. Like, Correct. Even Pastor gets in on Ebony and I back and forth. And I promise you, ever since I've met this one, <laughs> it's always been back and forth. Right. But it's always out of love. Correct. And, um, you know, so that positive impact in those people that you want to be around, you know, cause it's so funny. I'm so used to bantering with Ebony mm -hmm. and Lisa. Now when she, we get back in the choir, if she wasn't there, where was you at? And I found myself missing her uh, yeah. because yeah. you get so used to that and mm -hmm. you get used to talking to people. I don't even know when it started, but Me it just, just happened. Cause one. I've never liked it. So. <laughs> No, I hear you. And then, and, you know, it just happened. So, I mean, but it's about those positive impacts mm -hmm. that you leave. You know, I've been there where I felt when she mm -hmm. felt something, I felt it. Mm -hmm. I feel like the opposite. When mm -hmm. I felt something, she felt mm -hmm. it. When I went through my divorce, she was there for mm -hmm. me, yes. you know, just texting me, calling me, sending me a silly text, just something. And people, that's the kind of Correct. impact that Correct. you should leave. Mm -hmm. exactly. That's what you should do. And, and you all the time, oh, my God, your texts are <laughs> crazy. But I appreciate mm -hmm. them. Because and I think it goes thing. back to what you were saying um, um, that we don't really know how our relationship formed. No, no clue. We're, he's he's a lot older than I am. Wow. So it's not <laughs> like we went to high school together or anything. <laughs> but I knew we knew a lot of the same people. And I think it was probably just the way he interacted with the people that I knew. Yeah. And I saw how he made people feel. I know mm. I saw how he yeah. captured, he can captivate an audience. If you give him a group of people, he will, whether he's trying to or not, he's going to get that attention. I hear and you. I, I think I was drawn to that and I wasn't intimidated by it. And even though he's a jokes and a prankster, <laughs> yeah. he was still warm and inviting. Yep. Yep. So that's very much a part of his brand, a very okay. kind of big brother, yep. big cousin energy where Absolutely. there's love there, but I'm yeah. going to give yeah. you trouble yeah. Yeah. the whole time. The whole time. Yeah. And when you do something, well, I'm going to tell you, but it's going to be in a different Is way. <laughs> <laughs> so, and, and that's important to me. You know, I just, I want to feel that. And I know you told us what our brand is, what your brand is. Mm -hmm. Number one, you exude professionalism. Oh, you you have absolutely. excellent oratory absolutely. skills. You speak very well, and you also captivate an audience. And you can sing sometimes. Very well. And very you well. have done very well with your children. You yes. know, you Ebony, you have, you are an overcomer. She That's really what is. I get from you. You that are over. Overcomer. And she doesn't give up. You no, hang in there. Absolutely and not. You are an overcomer. I've absolutely seen you right. make it through some insurmountable odds, <laughs> and where. You probably shouldn't have made it, mm -hmm. but I know that's the God in you Absolutely. that brought you through. And it's that, like Rev talks about all the time, that thing, that little thing you hit, and it just keep popping mm -hmm. back up. That's yeah. who you are. That's who you are. Every time somebody hits you, or every time something happens, you just pop right back up. And it is attractive. And that's well, what we, and you. then it's not always about, and what people miss with even spirituality. Okay. It's attractive. We're mm -hmm. selling God. Absolutely. Every time mm -hmm. we do something, oh, we yes. are selling the Lord. We mm -hmm. are selling him in the grocery store. Oh, yes. We are selling him when something don't go right. right. We're selling him at that light. Mm -hmm. yes. When somebody cuts us yeah. off or somebody. We are selling Christ mm -hmm. all the time as Christian because people are watching Absolutely. you. Absolutely. And yes. it's not what, it's how you respond. Mm -hmm. It's what, it's not what people say to you. Mm -hmm. It's what you say to them and respond. So your brand is so important that it wow. can win souls to Christ mm -hmm. or turn them Absolutely. away from Christ. Absolutely. I was talking to <clears throat> a good friend today. It's so funny you talked about how we are the mm -hmm. hands and feet of Christ. We are the poster board yes. for Christ. Yes. And we, we all have natural personality traits, yeah. right? Absolutely. You both are naturally yes. funny, yep. right? Well, I have natural traits that aren't always Christ-like. Mm -hmm. And because we that do. can easily become a part of my brand, mm -hmm. yeah. I've got to check that. Yes. Because yes. Yeah. we understand yeah, um, mm -hmm. getting people and evangelizing the lost 
involves humility. Yes. Yes. It involves uh, meekness. Yeah. We don't like that fruit. At least I don't. I don't <laughs> like the, that fruit of the spirit. My right. my meekness fruit is because it can be rough. It it's rough. It can be rough. And yeah. but those are the things that we need. So when um, making a brand, okay. we got to draw on what comes naturally, but okay. also we got to work on what does not come Absolutely. naturally. Because at the end of the day, my brand is still under the banner of Christ. Absolutely. I've got to be mindful of yep. how my brand aligns wow. with or does not align yep. with what Jesus would have us to do. That is so real. Mm -hmm. That is so it real. Is. Yeah. And I appreciate I that. And that that this is what, again, this show embodies. Mm -hmm. Simple, practical principles to try to get people to realize that we need Christ in every way mm -hmm. in our life. And if you don't know him, get to know oh, him. Oh, yes. yes. Get to know him. It will change who you are what you become, your brand, it mm -hmm. will fix some things that you ain't even ready to face yet, mm -hmm. you know, but just get to know them. And then one, another one that I wanted to share is another thing that I think is very important with your brand, being consistent. Oh yeah, yep. now, absolutely. Now, this one, you don't have a problem with. Correct. No. Because, hey, you, uh, I've <laughs> even seen you in a bad move make me laugh. Mm -hmm. So here's the thing, I have mm -hmm. never experienced anyone that is more consistent than Lisa Crutcher <laughs> Thurman in my life. And if you know somebody, please let me know, because you don't, because you don't know her. That's what it is. Well, I have never. I've figured it out that I need to stay the same. And that's what we're getting ready to separate from sorry. All right, y'all, see you later, stay the same. It's because of my brain injury and my sister, We'll go ahead and put home blast. Sometimes she's, oh, hey, Lisa, hey, and then sometimes, mm. I can't try to figure out what's the going there. Going How to are we the same? So I usually call her, are we speaking today? <laughs> I mean, are we sisters right now? Can we set a precedent? Right, because I, I mean, I don't know, and I, it's too hard, and life is too hard. So just be who you are. Embrace it, mm -hmm. wherever it, because we got one friend that we grew up with, and she was just always foul. You never had to wonder. She was just always <laughs> in a bad mood. Right. And you just knew <laughs> how to approach it. She stayed the same, mm -hmm. but she's better now. And I love her so much. I ain't going to say her name, but <laughs> I do. But people need to know that when they see you, you're gonna be the same, yeah. and cause I'm a hey girl, how you yeah. doing? Mm -hmm. And so hey girl, oh excuse me, and that's so true. Excuse me, that's so true, cause I I prom even with our, our relationship with. Ebony and I joke all the time. Mm -hmm. We can inquire us. I know Kevin be getting mad. Right. <laughs> we be over right laughing. Edward's too much back. talking, saying little stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, and then Ebony can always tell if I come in, something's happening. Uh -huh. What's wrong with you? Yeah. You know, and it's just like, even though you want to be consistent, sometimes that's hard to do it's too just because life, life just mm -hmm. happens. And sometimes life hands you some things that you're not really ready to prepare. You ain't even got a chance to process. Mm -hmm. And uh, But it feels so good that someone notices that you're not right. yourself mm -hmm. right. and takes the time to say, hey, are you okay? And so that's why also with your brand, if you feel something for somebody that you care about or you haven't talked to in a while, call them. Mm -hmm. Call them. Reach out to them. Text them. You know, because mm -hmm. there's a reason they're coming to your mind and they may need you mm -hmm. or they may need that word from you. I just see you reaching out to think of them is mm -hmm. it's enough, especially now in this pandemic. Oh, I mean, my. you know, I, I just somebody close to our family lost their daughter yesterday mm -hmm. in a horrific car accident, young. And it's just like they had to identify, you know, by the dental record. You know, and it's just like, we take life for granted. We we take so many things for granted. We worry about so many little things petty. that don't make a difference, petty stuff. Well, you just let stuff go. But if somebody's on your mind, just reach out to them. Let them know, hey, didn't want anything. You, cry, you came across my mind, just want to say hello. Mm -hmm. Send a text. If you don't want to talk, just send a text. Do something. Right. Mm -hmm. But that is part of your brand. Absolutely. It's part of your brand. Checking in. Being yeah. yeah. considerate. Yes. Being considerate, being, considerate, mm -hmm. being consistent and yeah. considerate. It goes mm -hmm. hand in hand. Another one is live your brand. Now, this is the one some people don't do so well with. Okay. But <laughs> and sometimes it could be me. It okay. could be anybody, right. you know. But, you know, sometimes we want this picture painted of us, but that's not who we are when we get by ourselves. Okay. okay. And, you know, so it's just living that brand. And so what I've learned to start doing, especially through this pandemic, is because isolation is crazy. And living oh, yeah. by yourself, you... 
Yeah, just don't start answering. If you talk to yourself, <laughs> just don't start answering. But one thing that I've kind of noticed is, you know, I, I don't pretend, but I assume that someone is watching. What would I do? Or okay. if something happens, what would I do if such and such mm -hmm. was here? Okay. And then, you know, we, you know, everybody went crazy about the what would Jesus do, Ben? That should be a constant thing. Oh, now, yeah. I know our ways are not his ways and his ways are not our ways. Mm -hmm. I get it. But we got a good idea based on the roadmap <laughs> right. he gave us, which Absolutely. is the Bible. And we know right from wrong. Mm -hmm. So just the way you treat somebody, you know, well, you know, I'm really starting to think. And you had said something in the mm -hmm. show we did last season. And number one, is it true? Is it helpful? Is it inspiring? Mm -hmm. Is it necessary? Is it kind? So that's the thing, Thanks. acrostic, mm -hmm. that we would use yeah. every time. And I have started using that, and that changed my life when you gave me that. But, I mean, it's just real. You just really have to think and be considerate and try to live your brand. Mm -hmm. Live out who you are. So, I know Sister Reverend Tanya Triplett, she preached the sermon one Sunday, and that far, like, Take your grocery cart back. Don't just leave it there oh, by yeah. your car. Mm -hmm. And I have made it <clears throat> from then on. Don't just park it somewhere. Take the grocery cart mm -hmm. back. And that went along with this book that I read. Um, the guy was a Navy, Navy SEAL. And the book was entitled Make Your Bed. Mm -hmm. And that's how you get up, get started. And that's putting your best foot forward. That you always want to do something and something for somebody else, mm -hmm. even if it's just a smile or say a kind word. And I know little old ladies, you say something about their hair and they're just happy. You say, oh yes, your hair looks so pretty. Uh, you know, something just mm -hmm. to make somebody's day. Let them know you're thinking about them and you see them. Cause some people, they say the only smile they're gonna get that day would be from you. That's it. And then it, it's just simple practical stuff. I mean, if you be kind to plants, they grow. <laughs> you know, be kind to your brother. Be mm -hmm. kind to your sister. Be kind to someone. Say something kind. Hold the door for somebody. Yes. Tell somebody something nice. Mm -hmm. I mean, make be intentional. And I think that's what we don't do. Okay. You don't be intentional. Mm -hmm. And make that part of your brand. Okay. You know, I want to be one of those people who reaches out to somebody. You mm -hmm. know, the, the song said, hey, have I helped a needy soul mm -hmm. along the way? You know, that's what we're supposed to do as Christians, to help And those someone. are people that want to be around you, too. Yeah. If you always complain and got something negative to say, hey, avoid you like to play. If you <laughs> got, you know, lifting them up and mm -hmm. got something positive to say, something inspirational, that does draw people. Ain't nothing like seeing somebody with a bad day. And you know, both of us are hilarious. <laughs> so seeing somebody with a bad I, that's one thing I miss about work is you see somebody you know they're having a bad day i just go in the office and say something crazy mm -hmm. and then they just be like what is wrong with you <laughs> but it's just and it's intentional mm -hmm. it's just you never know just a kind note something and now i'm just resorting to doing the same thing with emails I yeah. Yeah. And yeah just say hey mm -hmm. just think about yeah. you have a good day mm -hmm. I bet you got on something that don't match, but you know, right. some, you know I bet you some, your shoes are ugly I today. I bet you your shoes are ugly today. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, and then another one that I wanted to kind of is, this is the one that I think some people struggle with is being genuine, being mm. authentic. Okay. Um, no matter what happens, you have to be your authentic self. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing wrong with being your authentic self. You know, as long as it's not hurting nobody, mm. not, it's not, you know, if you're not like, naturally nasty I mean you know <laughs> but just being your authentic self and be true to who you are and, you know I think it's where a lot of people struggle mm -hmm. and probably have some issues because they're not being true to their self mm -hmm. and like with my job a lot of decisions that I make on a daily basis don't affect me they affect a lot Other of people, people. Okay. Mm -hmm. so I have to be mindful mm -hmm. of that and I have to be mindful of things that are gonna change people, the way they process work and different mm -hmm. things, that falls onto me. So I can't just think, oh, shh, it'll work. It don't matter. No, no, no it's not no. how it works. You have to think of other people. Mm -hmm. So you have to be authentic because I'm one of those type of people, I can't sleep at night if I make them, if I okay. wrong somebody, mm -hmm. it's like conviction. Correct. It's like oh, yeah. Christ does yeah. something to me, it's just like, mm -mm, you mm -hmm. knew that was wrong. Yeah. And so then I got to call the person, I'll fix yeah. it. So that's why oh, I yeah. just try to do the right thing the first time. Right. So you don't have to worry about that. Miss so, mm -hmm. yeah. Lisa, I want to question you because we came in and I just told you what your brand was, right? <laughs> what do you think your brand is? What What is your name? Who Who are you? What's the genuine Lisa? Mm -hmm. Well, we ain't got but a few minutes. I know, left. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> <laughs> then, see, I was tending to go with the fact while we're talking about organization, 
that's not who I am. Mm-hmm. Not a, I'm, and you know, my husband, every I is dotted, mm-hmm. T is crossed, I don't even know where paper is. Yeah. I'm kind of <laughs> fly by night, you know, and that has worked for me, mm-hmm. I guess, because God is so good. Even, you know, the schools where I taught, there's always somebody, I told you I had to apologize to the uh, co-workers during faculty meeting because I'm sitting there showing out, passing notes and acting <laughs> silly. And they're serious and stuff. Yeah. Got to send somebody that's going, mm-hmm. okay, right Lisa, you way. have got to do this. We got to have this done. And I just uh, want to have fun. I, just, <laughs> I do. I mean, don't, don't read too much into it. Yeah. And thank God, and he's going to keep it moving. So mm-hmm. I just trust God. <laughs> and, it's just, and that's, that's what it is. It. Fly by night. You you do what feels good. Yeah, don't don't free spirit. Don't and read too free much into it. Uh-huh. Free spirit. I yeah. love it. So <laughs> what do you feel like yours is, Evan? Um, I, when we talked about it, I was trying to think. But you said you said I was an overcomer. And I was oh, like, yeah. absolutely. I don't think I've ever yeah. thought of, even though I'm not taking away, mm-hmm. I, I fully yeah. understand how you could say that. But... That is a brand oh, yeah. that, I, I, that I think yeah. I could um, build upon. Absolutely. I am an overcomer yes, through Christ are. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yes, you More are. than yes, an you overcomer. Are. Yes, you are. So um, thank I, you, thank you, I thank you for that yeah. because I, I never, I acknowledge it, but I don't think I've ever used that term you to You got to embrace it, girl. And then, that is true. Sometimes people, <clears throat> and most times people, see things will tell you, you mm-hmm. and see things that you can't see. Mm-hmm. Um, and one thing that I remember is we did a show, I don't know, if, I think it was last season, we talked about that statue, I, I don't even know where it is, but it is a statue of Christ with his hands off, oh, of his arms, arms are gone. Mm-hmm. Okay. And they were going to correct it, and I don't know who told them, but they was like, don't do that, mm-hmm. because it really emulates what we are as Christians, okay. because we are Christ's hands, mm-hmm. we his arms, we, we his legs, we his feet. Yeah. He blesses us to do his work. Mm-hmm. And uh, that's, that's part of our brand. Mm-hmm. So when someone tells you something like that, I hope in that instant that that's an example of speaking life to somebody Mm -hmm. and how you make a choice. Now, your brand is a choice daily. You make a choice. Mm -hmm. Um, Either you're going to have a good brand Mm -hmm. or you're going to have a negative brand. Mm -hmm. And ultimately, I ask, which one are you going to choose? You know, happiness is a choice. Mm -hmm. Every day you wake up, you make a decision where you're going to fall. You make a decision when you wake up. It doesn't matter what odds you're facing. It doesn't matter if you don't like your job. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter if you don't even like the house you live in. You still ultimately make a choice. Absolutely. Every day, what are you going to do? Mm-hmm. Where are you going to fall? What side of the spectrum? So I would ask that as we go forward, and we thank you for joining us for this mm-hmm. show and engaging in conversation, and I've learned even more about my lovely ladies, and I <laughs> promise you, I cannot thank my pastor enough for even thinking about this platform, mm-hmm. all of our people who work on it, our um, audio visual Behind people, the scenes, yeah. our ministry, you know, everybody who's done anything to make these shows uh, what they are, you know, Pastor had a vision and for us to bring it to fruition mm-hmm. and then not even know. When somebody called, asked me to do it, oh, what? <laughs> you know, and you know, this is, this platform has done so much mm-hmm. really for is. us. I mean, and if blessed, nothing else, yes. It's bless me, it's bless you, yes. it's bless, and it's strengthen our relationship. And mm. it's going to, I think it's going to help you with your brand. Oh, absolutely. I know. Because you've already absolutely. said how you <laughs> love speaking, you absolutely. love being an encourager, you yes. like to, you know, motivate yes. people. Yep. This is just a wonderful practice ground it for is. you. Yeah. That's so. what this is, it's mm, practice. Yep, so. And yeah. God Work is omni-sneaky. Yeah. Pastor's already told <laughs> us that. So I don't know what he's setting up. I don't know what he's mm-hmm. doing, but the calmness and the spirit that God has blessed us with even doing this. Because mm-hmm. I remember when we first started, Thank Lisa you, was so nervous. Oh my Ebony goodness. wasn't as nervous. She yeah, just kind of asked, what we doing? Lisa but Lisa, definitely. I don't know what we're going to say. <laughs> we will say. And she's just natural. You're just natural with it. And it takes all three of us. And I have enjoyed this so mm-hmm. far. And I just I hope we can continue to do this. Yeah. Uh, so thank you for listening and we hope that you will focus on your brand and just think about it every time you get ready to do something every time you get ready to speak every time you get ready to talk every Mm -hmm. time you're seen in public anytime you stand before anybody whether you're at work your family anything think about your you being an item in the store Mm -hmm. and we know Christ wouldn't do it but would he be happy with the brand that you have presented 
the brand that you've become, Absolutely. the brand that you are. And one good thing about being a Christian is he always gives us another mm -hmm. chance. Rebrand. You Thank can you, re Lord. Rebrand, yeah. rebrand yes. refocus. Mm -hmm. Take this time to refocus mm -hmm. and rebrand and be who you would want to be. Become somebody you never even thought you could be. Amen. So wow. let us pray. God, thank you for this day. Thank, thank, you, thank you for your word and for your way. Thank you for being good and thank you for blessing us in spite of ourselves, God. Thank you for your goodness and your mercy, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the opportunity to be branded mm -hmm. in you, God, because oh, yes. you branded us a long time ago, Thank over 2,000 years ago, when you took our place, God. Mm -hmm. It could have been us. It should have been us, oh, yes. but you took our place. So we thank, thank you, you for being the first brander, God. Oh, and we yes. thank you for your goodness and your thank mercy you. and your thank grace. You. In Christ Jesus' name, we pray that anybody who's watching this yes. will be blessed to rebrand yes. themselves, yes. or brand themselves yes. accordingly. And if they're doing well, God, yes. just let them know they're doing well yes. by the fruits of their labor. God, we Thank you for your goodness thank you, and your grace. In Christ Jesus' name, we pray. And it's all these things this day. Amen. Amen. Amen.